Hello everyone and welcome to the third video in my little four part mini series of The Sims 4 Create a Sim Demo. In this one, I'll be going over female hair, clothing, and accessories. If you would like to watch the other videos in this series, they will be linked at the end of this one in some annotations. If you don't have annotations enabled, then they are in the description as well as with a playlist where you can watch them all in a row and also on autoplay because that is a great feature that YouTube has. <laughs> so if you're interested in female hair, clothing, and accessories, then keep on watching. I decided to just go with my sim self for this video and I did take off her glasses because they were quite big and I didn't want them to get in the way of me showing off the hairstyles. But as you can see, there are no options on either side to change the hair, clothing, face, or body. So all you have to do is just hover over whichever part of them you would like to adjust and then click on it. So I went over the face and makeup section in the last video and I'll be starting off with the hair in this one. We have three different subsections assorted by length, which is cool. They're short, medium, and long. And you could also set them with different outfits every day, formal, athletic, sleep, and party. So here are the different hair colors. You don't get to make them exactly how you'd like them, unfortunately. Like in this Create a Sim demo, maybe they'll change that sometime in the future with expansions or updates. That would be great. But you do get a lot to choose from, and you don't have to have their eyebrows the same color as their hair if you don't want to. So I changed her, her, her black hair to that blonde one because I feel feel like it shows the detail in the hair a lot better and yeah I had to zoom out because the sim I don't know if you could tell but she's like putting all of her weight on one foot and it kind of slants her to the side and if I were zoomed in any further then some of it would be cut off by those little icons that are on either side of her so I just had to zoom out I apologize for that if you're watching on a smaller device and you can't see very well but here are the different hairstyles there's a lot to choose from I like most of of these and I could definitely see some sims in the future sporting some of these lovely hairstyles like that shorter one one of my favorites I think it's adorable and it's just there's so many different ones in this base game like this is just a base game and it's just a demo they might add more hairstyles when the when the base game actually comes out because this isn't a complete version of create a sim so I am looking forward to seeing what they add or what they change because they didn't really disclose any specifics at least as far as I know, I don't know. I don't like to read too much Sims 4 news because I still want to be surprised when I play the game. But yeah, uh, I still would have liked to see a uh, kind of creative style tool for the hair and would have been able to make it exactly how I want it. But I don't know if you can tell. They do kind of have roots and like each chunk I guess or section of the hair it kind of has this outline and it's a bit darker and some of them have highlights so it does have dimension but it's just um, a darker version of the hair or a lighter version of the hair in those different sections if that makes sense almost done with the female hairstyles we have this nice updo with the little pieces coming out in front of the ears and this one with the bangs and some wavy hair some with pigtails and then this uh, uh, hairstyle with the braid it's like a French braid going along the side going in a bun I totally used to wear that every day almost every day when I went to cosmetology school <laughs> it was such a cute easy hairstyle and I still do it to this day sometimes <laughs> so we have some more with these little buns on top and then this one I want to call it like a fishtail French braid and this is the one that my sim self is wearing it's like all parted to the side and here is this nice big bun at the top of their head so for the big fishtail French braid you can change the color of the hair and it actually gives them like different colored highlights and low lights and that is really cool and I'm glad to see that with at least some there's only two hair cells that do this for the females but at least they do have some where you could change some of the hairstyle colors sorry <laughs> even though it's not exactly um, what you would like to to choose but some of them do look really cool like there was a brown one with a green turquoisey green and that's definitely something that I would use but yeah, those are the hairstyles. Now moving on to hats. We have two different subsections, brimmed and baseball caps. And you can, again, set them for your different outfits. Some of them you can't use for, for some outfits and some you can. But here's the first one, my favorite one. It's like this big floppy hat. <laughs> and I just think it looks really nice. And we have um, some more different ones with presets. I don't know if you can see this, but when I hover over the preset, you can actually see what it looks like in the icon before I choose it so that's pretty neat because um, like in the Sims 3 it shows you all the different presets well not really three of them at a time but with this one you just hover over it 
it and it takes up a lot less space so I do like this and the neat thing about hats in the Sims 4 is that it goes with the different hairstyles that you choose for your Sims so they go on top of the hair instead of it being a completely new hairstyle with like some random hair that you don't want or some accessory that you don't want so I really like that and I hope that they add more they probably will like flowers or something but some of the ones with ponytails or buns above the nape of the neck just go inside the hat which makes sense so to get rid of the hat you just click on the upper right hand corner of the icon subsection icon or the hats one and it removes it and same with the hair you could just remove the hair that way moving on to accessories I've given her a shorter hairstyle just so that it wouldn't get in the way of me showing you them we have three different subsections earrings glasses and necklaces and you can of course set them with your different outfits here's the first pair my sim self actually wears the second preset which is kind of like a brownish taupe color we have some diamonds we have some big dangly earrings that come in different colors and some of them have more colors than others like this one is just one solid color with a bunch of cute pastels and then these feather ones come with two colors for each pair by the way these aren't the only accessories in the sims 4 create a sim at least as of now they're going to be separated so these ones are just for around the face and the rest of them will be in another section um, like with the clothing so that's pretty cool here is the first pair of sunglasses these ones I want to think of them as kind of like transition lenses um, I don't have them myself but I've seen other people with them and sometimes they go like a bit dark if it's kind of gloomy outside but it's still a little bit sunny you know what I mean these glasses are the ones that my sim self wears in black and then here are some which are adorable they're like cat eye glasses and I would totally use those here are the last of the accessories there are a few different necklaces and they come in different presets of course we have some with little pearls and some with these big gems and a lot of these match um, each other like the earrings will match the necklaces and they'll also match the rings that you'll see later on and we have this nice spiky choker so if you want to get rid of them again upper right hand corner of the icon subsection icon or the accessories icon all together moving on to clothes I did keep her hair short just so that it wouldn't get in the way of me showing you the tops or the outfits but to change the clothes you just hover over whichever article you would like to change and then click on it and it takes you to the body area so I went over body in the last video I'm gonna go over styled looks tops full body bottoms accessories and shoes in the rest of this one so we're going to start off with styled looks and this is pretty neat because it, it just has a bunch of presets to choose from it gives your sims makeup accessories shoes and different outfits and they match and they look great um, and I don't go over every single preset but as you can see when I hover over it the model off to the right hand side changes so you can kind of see it there but I like this idea because um, it's a nice way like if you were just making sims to just put in your town and you wanted them to match instead of just using the randomize option you could do that and create some sims that have cool outfits um, or you could start off with this and then tweak it to your liking which is probably something that I would personally do so moving on to tops as you can see there are a lot of different subsections jackets t-shirts sweaters tanks suit jackets brassieres and vests and again you can set them with your different outfits <laughs> so here's the first the top I wasn't too keen on it but after seeing the different presets I think it is adorable and I don't know if you saw it in styled looks but it has matching shorts and that outfit is just so cute <laughs> there are a lot of basic tops which is great in case you you don't want to give your sim um, a top that doesn't really match the bottom you could just give them a basic top some of them have designs some of them are layered and some of you might know I really like seeing layered stuff in the sims I didn't show you the back of all of these just because they aren't as exciting <laughs> as they are in the front and I wanted to go through these as quickly as I could so that the videos in this series weren't too too long even though <laughs> most of them are but I wanted to show you just everything I could in the Sims 4 create some demo so yeah as you can see there are a bunch of different tops to choose from and this next top is very similar to one um, a few tops 
from it. They could have just put it in the same thing, but I think the only difference is that um, the second one is a bit shinier. You'll see. And for this, I apologize, but I accidentally went over the white option for that. Um, this is like the more shinier version of the previous one. Anyway, for the white ones, it's very easy for me to miss it personally. It does have this little faint gray border on it, but sometimes I go over the, the white presets. So again, I apologize. I don't mean to. I just, um, I don't know, my eyes. <laughs> I don't know. Here's this nice vest with this kind of corset detail on the side and it has some studs. Again, some with layers and this one is totally similar to one in The Sims 3 Island Paradise and I really like it. It has this nice detail in the back. And when I compare The Sims 4 to The Sims 3, it's not that I think one is better than the other. They're two totally different games. It's just that it's an easier way for me to explain how I'm feeling about something or what I think about something, if that makes sense. <laughs> so here is a nice track jacket and a bunch of different colors. Some of the presets have like more colors again and some of them are just solid ones. This tank top has some designs on it and some solid colors. I like that they gave you a lot of basic things to choose from. So like if you have these really outrageous bottoms or something and you want their top to be very simple you can do that and vice versa so it's pretty pretty cool and yeah I just I like the options to choose from there's a lot and we have some more um, t-shirts with these wolves on it and a moon they're howling at the moon adorable is that like a little hint and a nudge to werewolves later on maybe who knows and that was the last shirt in the top section it's like a hound's tooth pattern so moving on to bottoms we have a few different subsections pants skirts shorts jeans and underwear and you can of course set them with your different outfits I gave her a shirt that was out of the way of the bottoms but here's the first style of bottoms that go with the first shirt that's also in styled looks and they look so adorable together and as you can see we have a bunch of different bottoms at different lengths and some of them come with styles uh, like the previous ones had flowers on them and some of them are solid colors like these ones and we have this one which is ruffled how cute is that <laughs> and a skirt it's kind of like a jean skirt I want to say it looks like how a jean skirt would and then we have a bunch of different lounge bottoms stuff that I actually wear around the house or to work out in these ones are my personal favorite lounge PJ type of bottoms and some capris in a few different colors and then some underwear which actually works really well with certain accessories and then I'll show you that when we get into the accessories section this skirt makes me think of mermaid scales or like fish scales right and then we have a pleated skirt with some plaid patterns which are cool I would totally use some of those and then the next pair of shorts are pretty dang short they have some studs and they're sort of distressed in the pockets kind of like coming down the bottom but these skinny jeans are my favorite bottoms out of all of them they have a bunch of different floral patterns and some presets like the burgundy ones and the regular jean ones I totally have some in like that in real life so it's cool to see things that you own in real life in a game that you play um, <laughs> so here's another skirt with different presets we have stripes and then nice patterns and then some kind of like bell-bottom flare jeans some more drawstring relaxing shorts and then the last skirt with a bunch of different presets there's a whole bunch of like striped pattern ones and some of them do actually have a pattern on them and some of them are just like a solid color so on to full body outfits we have a few different subsections jumpsuits long dresses short dresses and robes and of course you can set them with your different outfits so I do show you the back of some of these um, as I did with the tops but not all of them because again they're just not as exciting as they are in the front but I wanted to show you the back of this because I really like uh, the jacket part I wish that jacket was a separate thing because it looks really cute but I don't really like the leggings I don't know I would still probably use it here's the jumpsuit which is for the most part one color but it does have that nice detail on the bottom pant leg part <laughs> and here's Belle the Goth's red dress right there 
so adorable and it looks really good on her might I add we have this dress that comes with um, like a bunch of different stripes my personal favorites are the pink one and then also the lime green with black oh I really like those here's a very fancy dress with buttons going down the back and a robe I don't know why but this is one of my favorites I don't even really use robes that often but it looks so cute and this dress is pretty neat it's outlined in black in the different sections and it looks cool when you have like one solid color but the other presets are awesome too here's a sweater dress which I personally think would look great with some of the leggings in the accessory section this dress is the dress that my sim self is wearing in the lighter blue shade and it, it kind of like crisscrosses in the back and it and it's sort of open in some areas here is a maxi dress I like the pink cream and bluish colored one and here is the last full body outfit now on to accessories below the neck she is in her underwear because as I said before it goes really well with certain accessories and you'll see that in just a moment so we do have a few different subsections there are bracelets gloves rings leggings and socks and you can of course set them with your different outfits so I tried to give you a close-up of these because if I zoom in further it just pans towards her face hopefully they change that when the game comes out I'm not really sure so I kind of just um, took a clip of it and enlarged it so it's a bit grainy but you can see it a lot better than um, you know like from the angle now uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> Here are the last couple of bracelets or bands. This one is nice. It has studs on it and this one's kind of like a braided ropey one and it just makes me think of a tire. I don't know why. It doesn't really look like a tire but it makes me think of it. Here's some gloves and you can actually put the bracelets and rings on top of the gloves and I just wanted to show you with this but I took them off because I felt like they just took away from the rings um, but I hope they had the shorter gloves. <laughs> That'd be great. We have this nice big ring. The band comes in a couple different colors. I wish they had more with the silver band because I wear silver in real life and I, I use silver more than I do gold when I give my Sims accessories. And then we have that big old engagement ring and then we have this one which goes over the ring finger on the other hand. So as you can see, the underwear fits nicely under these leggings so you can actually use them as bottoms and ah, oh, I'm just glad that they gave you underwear to choose from as you know bottoms for every day because you can put these with like longer shirts or you can just use these as bottoms and fishnets fishnets if you've been watching my videos for a while you'll know that I've been wanting to give my my sims and fishnets for a while I even made a pattern in creative style in the sims 3 that kind of looked like fishnets I just made the main color fleshy color and then the crisscrossy part black so it just looked like these big fishnets so I don't know I'm so glad that they're in the base game that makes me really really happy and you can also layer them so here are like knee-high socks or above the knee with fishnets uh, it would just look so adorable totally going to take advantage of that and use that <laughs> we have some more socks some plain socks that I try to go through quickly because they're just like basic you know regular socks that I use all the time I always give my some socks if I can well not always but most of the time <laughs> and some nylons some of them have that thing in the front the toe part I think what it does is prevents your toenails from scratching them because I'm pretty sure many of you have had this happen before if you get a snag in them it like runs up the entire leg and it ruins them unless you like that look because I, I honestly think it looks cool with certain outfits uh, but yeah those are the accessories to get rid of them you just click on the upper right hand corner of the icon subsection icon or the entire section icon so on to shoes we have again a bunch of different subsections there's sandals flats loafers slippers heels wedges sneakers and boots and you can of course set them with your different outfits here's the first pair of shoes and they're one of my favorites but I did do the same thing I did with accessories which is just crop it and then blow it up so that you could see them better because I can't zoom in it will just zoom into her face so I apologize for that that it's you know kind of grainy but it's the best that I could do hopefully they change that that would be great <laughs> but yeah here are the different shoes there's a lot of different styles and a lot of different presets so even though you can't really change them exactly how you want them like with the hair and clothes and stuff you can at least give them um, you know shoes that 
look nice then <laughs> that are in different colors those ones the classic pumps which are a staple for me so I like seeing them in the base game some flats some boots with a little bit of a heel and that nice fabric uh, above the ankle I like how they look I would definitely use those some boots that go just below the the knee some nice peep toe heels which I am definitely going to use they're super cute some sneakers it's nice to see that they have a lot of different style sneakers to choose from even though I'm probably more going to use the Converse more than anything. I can't help it. I'm a Converse girl. I do wear Converse with my dresses. I know that's like a love or hate thing, but I just like how it looks and they're so comfortable. They're so comfortable. Some bunny slippers, super cute bunny slippers. Some shoes that look like Air Force Ones, kind of the high tops. I totally have a pair of those, which I haven't worn in years. I don't know why. These shoes, which are again, some of my favorites because they're really adorable. And then we have some more flats with this like strap that goes up and above the ankle it wraps around and then connects to the back and then the last pair of peep toe heels and then that is it for the females i hope you enjoyed this video the next one the last one will be of the male hair facial hair clothing and accessories so if you'd like to watch that or any of the others then click the screen now on the one that you would like to see if you don't have annotations enabled then they're also in the description and if you're watching it on that playlist on autoplay then i will see you in the next one bye everyone